Good morning greetings from Williams, Arizona. I'd like to say good morning greetings to Mr. Juan Luis Vargas, who is the local resident here. Luis, I am sorry I will not be able to stop by and say hello. I kind of uh, dally, dilly dally around this morning. I gotta get going. Don't worry, well, one of these days, God willing, we'll meet up and catch up. Anyway, local time here, it is 726. Temperature is at 39 degrees. Flatbed over here, Milton. Uh, I, I don't have enough speed to pass him. Uh, but I keep catching up with him. It's kind of aggravating, right? <laughs> Come on, Blue. Let's go, Blue. We are down to 425 miles to um, Industry, California. All right, many of you have been asking what happened what happened to Winsoon. From what I understand, Winsoon is going to be shipping their loads on the freight trains. Um, they either that or they completely moved their plant somewhere around Chicago. So we kind of lost that account. Quite honestly, I think that uh, it actually turns out pretty good because without the wind soon, I'm getting more miles each week now. All right, back then it used to be I waited until Monday to pick up my load out of Green Bay, right? deliver Thursday in uh, industry pick up wind soon on a Friday do a 34 hour reset somewhere near Iowa or Altoona deliver Tuesday at 5 a.m. in the morning And then they usually don't have a load for me until next Monday. So now that they don't have the wind suit, I'm picking up there and then uh, delivering to Murfreesboro, uh, Tennessee. And hopefully I have enough uh, time and uh, the freight is available where I could make it back to Green Bay or at the house at least a minimum of you know Saturday afternoon to get another reset at the house come back on Monday and start swinging again Granted, it doesn't give me a whole lot of time staying at home, but at this point, it's exactly what I need. I need the uh, I need the miles more than I need to stay home. Many of you have been asking, how long do I stay out? Well, previously, I used to go out every two weeks and then two days in. You see with well, for every one week that you stay out on the road, you, you earn one week, uh, one day of 
home time. So you go out for two weeks, then you got two days at the house. Problem with that is two days at the house is just really not that. I don't know, it's just incomplete. And then what's worst is your paycheck is really bad every other week. So what I did is I stayed out for five weeks at a time. By the way, if you stay out for five weeks or six weeks or longer, you can only have five days time off maximum even if you stayed out for a whole year that's all they give you is five days and five days usually starts when you arrive at the yard not when you arrive at the house so anyway I did that I uh, I stayed out for five weeks stayed in five days that was hard, I tell you. It was, it was hard on the family. It was hard on me. But it seemed like it was the only way to catch up with the bills. Also, some of you have been asking advice how to get into the truck driving world. Well, if you're at least 21 or 23 years old, 23 is a lot better. So let's just say you're 23 years old, no DUI, no reckless driving, a very clean driving record, no felonies. I would imagine the, the best way to do it is call one of these major trucking companies. Chances are they'll send you to they'll send you to their own truck driving school. And uh, they'll even pay your tuition as long as you work there for at least a year. That's one way to go. Another way to go is what? Call the nearest truck driving school where you live. Ask them. Get enrolled. And in some cases, I've heard that some cases that uh, some community college or some kind of a local employment program training deal. I've known a couple of people that they've been sent to truck driving school for free because either they were laid off I'm sure there are some kind of a government grant out there that uh, some people can take advantage of. Or if you want, you could just call Brighton at Well Recruiter. I'm sure he can give you more accurate information than I ever could. WEL number is 800-333-4415. Uh, uh, yeah, 4415. I'm not exactly sure the extension for recruiter. But I'm sure the directory will guide you to it. Talk to Brighton talk to Craig Waters, talk
talk to Shannon, Ona, and there's a couple more, I can't remember their names. I heard a comment last night about a uh, a person that it was his dream to be a truck driver. Unfortunately, the family story did not work out. Uh, the uh, the wife left, leaving the small children for him to raise. And so I guess his truck driving dream is put on hold, rightly so, for the sake of raising his children. I tell you, it, 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 it almost made me cry. He said, because of my videos he is able to drive vicariously something like that man comments like that it just I could almost say you know I've done my job <laughs> it is I that I am grateful As I said before, we're all in this together. All right, we should be coming up to Ash Fork, Arizona here at the bottom of the hill. I also would like to encourage you to watch, uh, I don't know what my video title was, but it's WEL Recruiter, I believe. Just type in JBG Travels forward slash Recruiter. Uh, I did an interview with Brighton, who is WEL Recruiter. He's got lots and lots of uh, information there. In, in fact, from uh, I talked to Bob yesterday from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. I may already have told you this. He's actually having a orientation on the end of the month of November and I asked him was the uh, well recruiter interview helpful and I supposedly I guess it was so I'm mighty pleased with that then many 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 people out there ask me technical questions about how certain things are done and man there are better people out there that I could point you to that can better accurately answer those questions one of which I think well has a a website that you guys can log in and you can see the shades of 
see the, the map where they uh, hire and do not hire so I get asked that question a lot do they hire out of Idaho or Washington or California and all that they used to hire all over the place I think they cut down to certain areas now. I got 21,000 pounds of uh, cheese on right now. And I'm using the Jake brake. And I have to cancel it because it's slow downs too much let's put it on medium power yeah that works out pretty good I suppose and yeah, let's go see downtown from a freeway point view anyway let's see ash fork time is 7.43 48 degrees
this is it. The sleepy town of Ash Fork, Arizona. Alright, once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you. Peace.